it is showing to me that you already have belief. The fact that you are asking this question to me, you believe in our words, like this or like that. You're a believer. <coughs> and you're very blessed because you're asking the question today because no one else is asking that question. Muslims are not asking that question. But non-Muslim is asking that question. So this is between believers and unbelievers. It is not according to your form now. If you like, take. There is no compulsion in religion. If you like what I say, take. You don't like, leave. I'm saying it to you, I'm saying it to everyone. Berat is on the 15th day, 15th night of the month of Shaban. This is a month in the Muslim calendar, one month before Ramazan. Ramazan, as everybody knows, whole world knows. Now Ramazan is when they fast. And we see more and more people, they are fasting every Ramazan. Muslims and non-Muslims too, they are fasting. And the 15th night, that is a night when all the records, whatever that you've done, good and bad, for one year, since last Barat, will be sealed and it will be sent to heavenly stations, not to be opened until Judgment Day. Okay? And when it's open on Judgment Day, it's not going to be redacted or anything. It's going to be as is. Everyone is going to be made witness. But Allah is saying, on that day that we are going to take your records, on that night, I'm opening the door of that night so wide that whatever you ask for on that night, I will fulfill it for you. If you're looking at your book and you're checking your book and you're saying, I did this, 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 I'm very sorry for that. This is a wrong thing. Help me to finish, help me to become a better one, more honest one, more one with belief. You're asking for that, then it will cancel out all those wrong things. And what will be put there is something that is completely clean. And there is no interference in that until Judgment Day. And on that night, you will also write your destiny for the next year. The angel that is going to take your records, Allah will say, look at his record. For the last year, what was he doing? The angels will say, he was running after you, O oh my Lord. Trying to worship you. Trying to be a good one. Trying to step on his ego. Pulling himself away from the pleasures and treasures of this world. Allah will say, then, for that coming year, opened his way even more to come to me. Then there are those ones, Allah is saying, what has he done? Our Lord knows, of course, but when he's asking like this, it is for us all to take lesson from it. What has he done? And the angels are saying, whole year he was running away from you. And he was running towards his own pleasures and treasures, his own ego and his own desire. Regardless of all the signs, regardless of all the blessings, regardless of all the punishment, then Allah will say, don't worry. For the coming year, open the door more for him. 
for this world, for his desires. Make it difficult for him to reach to me. The pen of destiny, whatever it writes, you cannot erase it. But how the pen is writing, Allah has given us power to control that pen. And this night of destiny is one of so many nights in Islam where we can change them. It's not only in Berat. We have five holy nights in Islam. We have holy days in Islam. We have holy months. And the, the night of Juma, like it is now, it is especially holy. So that one is giving us opportunity, chance after chance after chance for us to turn back to ourselves. And so this is what Muslims for over 1,400 years, they have practiced looking to this night, very holy, the night that is tomorrow. If you wish, you can fast. And there are some special prayers you can do, night time. But the Prophet has said, one hour of meditation, it is better than 70 years of worship. The meditation is not to sit and then to enter into illusion and delusion world. The meditation is to sit and to read your book, to meditate on yourself, to understand your steps. Because so many people, they are stuck. And they're being very stubborn. You say you are stuck here. You're not changing. If you're in this way, it is like, you know, if you are traveling in a right-hand lane, you can slow down a little bit. You can go here and here and here. If you're traveling all the way to the left, there has to be a speed. You're traveling on the Autobahn in Europe, hmm, it's no longer 75 miles an hour. If you go under what? You've been on the Autobahn. What is it? Do you remember? What is the speed limit that is there? Hmm? <laughs> but if you travel slow, you'll get a ticket. Not only that, you might endanger yourself and others. So we are here. Get with the program. A little bit. Understand? We're able to do it. As much as you know. Assalamu alaikum.